Hello everyone. Welcome to my place. Last Monday meeting. Um, very interesting. After the second song, Job witnesses. I hope you went to your kingdom hall. I hope you heard every thing that was said how you could donate your home your credit cards your cash your checks everything to watchtower Christ never nor his disciples never told anyone in religions to give to a false religion to give to a dangerous cult now before you give everything you have to these cults to these false religions shouldn't you do two things one examine the past teachings two find out why there are many members who left this organization and if they tell you not to speak to them because they are no longer representatives or declared to be God's chosen people anymore. It's your right to find out why these members left. Because it may save you losing all your money, your assets. I'm going to make an example, okay? Say you was going to donate your stuff to Watchtower in okay, case something happens to you. And let's say you had millions of dollars assets. You got into a car accident and you was in, in a coma. For say about a month, and you woke up from your coma, go home. There is no home to go to. It's already been sold. Your stuff been sold. That could happen to any Jehovah's Witness. And which it did to happen to someone that went to a nursery nursing home and she got better and find out Jehovah Witnesses broke into her home took a lot of her stuff because they thought she was never going to come back home now if this doesn't tell you and convince you this is a cult then you found your little paradise you found your happiness now this video you're going to see is pure wicked nonsense for you to be a cheerful giver empty your credit cards empty your wallet To an organization that's falling to pieces, falling apart. There's a lot of people who have spent their money into this organization. Got nothing back. Nothing. They didn't get no truth. They never got real promise that they're going to inherit 
God's kingdom if they stay in this organization. Because the truth has came out. The world is beginning to be aware. Job witnesses is a dangerous call. Call can be a one member. No, it can be two members. It's a group of people who put faith in a man or men they claim it to be a prophet a person that God chosen they even make up God false gods for you to worship while you're giving everything to these men. This video sickened me big time. I remember my parents donated their money into this false religion. I'm glad it was greedy with my money. If I gave him ten dollars of my over my thirty something years, they barely got money from me. People, before you give everything of yours up, you better make damn sure you are in the truth. Because when you give it to them, they're not going to give it back. They're not going to give back nothing they stole from you. It's not like the guy who finds a bag of money and turns it back to the owner. And it's not like you people don't and lost all your money to Watchtower and find out that it was corrupt and evil you think Watchtower out of their kindness and heart will give you your money back because they lied to you they're laughing, laughing themselves in that boardroom how many suckers they have in this organization. How many suckers can they bring into this false religion? Because that's all we were suckers. Just like the rest of the false religion who are beginning to wake up and realize it's just a money profit company. To steal your life savings and your life to their false teachings so people watch this part and make a decision will you challenge yourself to see do you have a reason to give your money away to a false religion or to a dangerous cult? Are you that cheerful giver that wants to give all your money away to a wicked organization when there's other things out there, homeless children, charity you could give money to, homeless people you could get charity too or sponsor a child at least you know those charities or you being a cheerful giver you know where your money's going a watchtower it's not going where you think it's going 
you need to check the news you need to check the YouTube channels Jehovah's Witnesses your organization has a dirty trail spending your money into horrible things if you was involved you would be disfellowship. Now it's time for you to see what your organization is hiding from you. So thank you very much and um, be aware who's asking you to be a cheerful giver to donate everything of yours to a dangerous cult. Yeah, I'm talking about Jehovah's Witnesses. So y'all have a nice day. Talk to y'all soon. Bye bye. Jehovah loves a cheerful giver. He certainly does. And that's why our local needs tonight is going to be on donations that we make to the worldwide work. And specifically, we're going to focus in on those electronic donations that we make uh, to the worldwide work. Uh, Jehovah is a generous God. We could sit here and go on and on about all the generosity, I mean an abundance of things that he's done for us, he's doing for us right now, what he's going to do for us in the future. And he wants us to imitate his example of generosity. So let me ask you. When Jehovah looks at us from heaven, he looks at you and he looks at me, and he peeps into our hearts, what does he see? Does he see a generous spirit motivated by love? Because that's what he wants. He wants us to imitate him when it comes to uh, being generous. Turn with me to the inspired words of the Apostle Paul, 1 Timothy chapter 6. And we're going to read together starting with verse 17 where we're told to imitate Jehovah in this, this regard. There on inspiration, the Apostle Paul says in 1 Timothy chapter 6, beginning in verse 17, Instruct those who are rich in the present system of things not to be arrogant. Now I'm going to pause there for a minute, because for a second I thought to be rich. Well, I'm not rich. That doesn't apply to me. This passage is not specifically talking about people who are wealthy. Rather, it's talking about people who have that attitude towards their money in this system of things that their money is going to protect them. They rely on it. They trust in it as opposed to trusting in Jehovah. That's what it's talking about. Any that feel that their monies or their wealth or their riches will protect them at the end of their system, that's what it's talking about. So it says, those who are rich in the present of system of things are not to be arrogant and to place their hope not on uncertain riches, but on God, who richly provides us with all the things we enjoy. Then it tells us how and why, verse 17 and 18 and, 19, uh, 18 and 19. Tell them to work it good, to be rich in fine works, to be generous, ready to share. All that's equated together, ready to share, generous, rich in fine works. All those things uh, all go with work at good. This is a direction uh, from Jehovah. Verse 19 continues, safely treasuring up for themselves a fine foundation for the future so they may get a firm hold on the real life, it says there. So again, what's the purpose for us to imitate? Uh, what's the reason, rather, we want to imitate Jehovah when it comes to being generous? Bottom line, it honors Jehovah. It honors him. He set an excellent example in showing us uh, how to be generous. Uh, but what's the attitude we should have when it comes to being generous? Turn to uh, 2 Corinthians, please. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. We've probably read this a few times. But in chapter 9, Paul, in talking about uh, being generous, uh, verse uh, 7, he says uh, this is the attitude we should have. Let each one do just as he has resolved in his heart, not grudgingly, or as the footnote says, reluctantly, uh, or under compulsion, and there's our point, for God loves a cheerful giver. That's what Jehovah God wants. He wants us to have the right attitude 
when it comes to giving. Not because we feel pressured or compelled to. In fact, if you look at the rest of what Paul is saying here in the book of, uh, of, of, of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, beginning with verse 11, let's just skim, skim through there. It says, In everything you are being rich for every sort of generosity which produces through us an expression of thanks to God. He talks about other expressions of thanks to God at uh, verse 12. And notice in verse 13 how he connects being generous with part of our ministry. And we're going to talk more about that in our congregation Bible study tonight. He says, through the proof that this relief ministry gives, they glorify God because you're submissive to the good news about the Christ as you, pub as you publicly declare and because you are generous in your contribution to them all. That's why Jehovah, again, wants us uh, to be generous. And again, it's part of our ministry. We can go on and on about how Jehovah God's been generous to us. Well, I just jotted down a couple of things. I, I would run out of paper. It was prayer, Holy Spirit. I mean, he just gives it abundantly, uh, a clean relationship with him, um, the spiritual paradise, the peace from God. And we can go on and on, including uh, the opportunity to have uh, everlasting life. And then, in verse 15 there of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, he culminates and all these things surmise into this one big gift. It says, thanks be to God for his indescribable free gift. What do you suppose that is? Our text today highlighted that that was the ransom sacrifice of his son. Words cannot put into we can't put it into words how generous Jehovah's God has been to us. What we need to do is learn to imitate his example of generosity. With that in mind, then uh, oftentimes individuals back in Paul's day and even today, they set aside a little something every month. They feel as though it's part of their ministry, their obligation to Jehovah God, and they place it in the contribution box in the back, uh, labeled Worldwide Work. And you've read and heard of so many ways that, that those funds are distributed. But in our video tonight, we're going to see yet another way that the slave is teaching us to be generous. Let's listen to our video. Jehovah's people are generous and want to give. Doing so with the spirit mentioned at 2 Corinthians 9-7, let each one do just as he has resolved in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. One of many ways we can display this generous spirit is through our financial donations. We are familiar with placing a contribution in the boxes labeled Contributions for the Worldwide Work at our local Kingdom Hall. Recently, the organization has made some changes to allow for donating online. Some have had questions on how to use these new tools. The donation information page on JW.org can be accessed via the JW Library app or on the website. By selecting the country where you live, you can see the donation methods available to you. Different types of donation methods are available in different countries. How have some been able to put this tool to use? In many countries, we can give using a credit or some debit cards via JW.org. Anyone can make donations online by creating an account if they don't already have one. This makes donating simpler both for you and for the organization. Just as many of us already follow the scriptural pattern at 1 Corinthians 16 2, set something aside every week according to our own means, we can do the same with these online tools. You can set up recurring donations so that this is done automatically every month. I'm in my right. My biggest challenge in making donations was remembering to put the donation in the box. But one day I was on the JW website and saw that there was a way to make online donations. And what was even better was that I could program an automatic donation of the same amount every month. So every month I receive a receipt that my donation has gone through. 
and that makes me very happy because I can help Jehovah every month and this way it's easy. Or perhaps we'd rather have our donation transferred electronically right from our bank account. In some countries, a bank account is provided that will allow you to transfer funds directly to the branch office. Simply use the tools provided by your bank to set up a direct donation to this account. We can easily go to the JW.org website and use the donations page to donate online directly from our account just as we would make any other money transfers. Some prefer to contribute by check or money order. The details on where to mail this type of donation can also be found on JW.org. Well, each month when I watch JW Broadcasting and see all the things that are going around on over the earth, I and show, would like to show them my appreciation for this hard work that the brothers do. And now the way I can do that, since I'm no longer able to do much physically, is by writing them a check and this letter of appreciation. Other methods of donating might involve charitable planning. We could arrange to give assets at our death through a will, trust, life insurance policy, or retirement plan. During our life, or at our death, we could also donate certificates of deposit, stocks and bonds, as well as saleable real estate. We are living in the days when unexpected events take place, just as the Bible foretold. So we decided to make charitable plans so that our material assets can be used to advance Jehovah's work. Every worthwhile thing we have also comes from Jehovah. I feel privileged to return to Jehovah what I originally received from Him. And I think this deep joy in my heart is the very blessing that I receive from Jehovah. There are many forms of giving. Go to the donation information page to see what options are available in your country. However, some types of donations typically require planning or additional information. If you have any questions, you can check with your local branch office. Feel free to submit a request for more information, and your local branch office will respond by email within a few days. Or you can call the branch directly using the phone number provided. But what if we wish to continue giving in the ways we have been, or we don't understand how to use these new tools. New tools can be hard to understand at first, but asking for the help of a trusted brother or sister in the congregation can help us take advantage of these tools. Exodus 35, 5 and 21 says, Take up a contribution for Jehovah from among yourselves. Let everyone with a willing heart bring a contribution for Jehovah gold, silver, copper. Then everyone whose heart impelled him and everyone whose spirit incited him came and brought their contribution for Jehovah. Just as the Israelites knew what options they had in giving to Jehovah, we want to know the different ways that we can make donations and the tools we can use to do so. Please take time to review these options on the donation information page and use the methods and tools that are best for you. No matter how we choose to donate, we can be confident that just as in the days of Moses, the donations we make support pure worship. And whether we are giving of our time, our energy, or our resources, we know that Jehovah loves a cheerful giver. So there we have it, friends, a new method for some, might be new for others, We've, it's been around for a little while, a new uh, electronic method of making donations. And uh, you might want to know that uh, for some of you, there may not be a way to just simply navigate to the JW.org website, and there you have it, how to donate to the worldwide work. It's already set for the United States, but you might want to double check that. 
And down below it lists all the different ways, the electronic bank transfer, one time, monthly, check or money order, it tells you who to write it to, uh, if it's coming from a local uh, kingdom hall, they even have a reward program for uh, rental cars or hotels and that sort of thing. I, I found that very interesting. And of course there's a charitable planning and so forth. So do this. Remember, we want to imitate Jehovah when it comes to being generous. We do that by the way we contribute our time, our energy, and our resources. And remember, it doesn't matter if it's a, a small donation or a rather larger one. Just remember this, Jehovah loves a cheerful giver. Let's give our attention back to our children. 